Hello everyone. Today we will start our discussions on one of the most important pillars of tourism, accommodation. What would you ideally require if you had to travel to some other state or country for a few days? The ideal answer would be food and accommodation and that's exactly where the hotels come in. According to some texts, it was the Duke of Devonshire who used the term hotel while naming the lodging property in London in 1760 AD. In France, the town houses were called hotels. They literally meant establishments that rent rooms to the traveler. It was the British law that first defined the hotel as a place where a bona fide traveler can receive food and shelter provided he is in a position to pay for it or is in a fit condition to receive the services. As per the definition of British law, we just read that hotel is a place that provides food and beverage and shelter. However, the departments that deal with these services are not the only departments in a hotel. Hotels, like any other organization, has various departments. Rooms division. It comprises of front office and housekeeping. Somebody has to take care of the rooms, book the rooms, rent the rooms, as well as clean the rooms. Food and beverage departments. It comprises of both food and beverage production and service. Somebody has to cook the food and somebody has to make that food cooked food or beverage available to the customer or the guest. HR and training. This is the department that fulfills the manpower requirement of the hotel. And also it is responsible for training the employees. Sales and marketing. This department works in coordination with front office. They have a very important role in the sale of rooms and, uh, and other banqueting facilities that the hotel offers. Purchase and stores. This department is responsible to procure items of daily requirement for smooth functioning of various departments of the hotel. Finance. This department is responsible for maintaining hotel accounts, payment of salaries, implementation and exercise of financial control in all the departments. Security. It is responsible for safeguarding the asset of the guests and employees. Engineering. As we all know that hotels are mechanized and fully automatic and machines can fail and to keep them running this department plays a vital role. If the machine keeps running the hotel keeps running. There are four core departments of a hotel. Front office, housekeeping, F&B service and F&B production. Let's uh, see each department one by one. Starting with housekeeping. What is housekeeping? It's a very essential department of the hotel. It is necessary to have this department in every hotel because of various reasons. Let's see those reasons. Housekeeping is responsible for cleanliness and upkeep of front desk and back areas of the hotel. Front areas, that means the areas in which the guest can go, the guest has an access to and back areas where the employees are there and the guests are generally not there. It includes public areas, rooms, landscaping. These are all front of the front of the house. Now laundry is something which is in the back. Food and beverage service. Now the food and beverage service department has various outlets which caters to the guests need of food and beverage. Now, there are various categories of outlets like restaurants. These can be specialty restaurants, multi-cuisine restaurants that are there. Bars. These are generally 
places which serve alcohol and alcohol based drinks to the guests of course with some snacks banquets a large gathering um, has to have large places these are the places which are managed by food and beverage service uh, department and cater to the needs of people accordingly coffee shops generally in very large hotels or in indian context five star or five star deluxe hotels these are the places fnb places which runs 24 hours round the clock for the guests room service now if you don't wish to go at any of the outlet to have food you can have the food at room and this department will come in handy then Food production you need to eat so who's going to create it answer is the chefs who work in the food production department food production includes kitchen kitchen that produces foods for uh, restaurants coffee shops and banquets is a very good example in front of you that kitchens and or the food production areas and the FNB service areas have to work in total coordination for efficient and effective service. There is another part of the kitchen which is called as bakery and confectionery. They produce breads, cakes, cold desserts, etc. for the guests. Front office. One of the front of the house department in the hotel there are various areas that come under front office first of all reservation which is at the back of the house then we have valet service probably the first people you meet when you reach the hotel because these people assist you in loading and offloading your luggage if you are in your car they'll assist you in parking your car etc bell desk maybe these are the people who will come in second or maybe the first one because these people are going to help you with your luggage front desk ideally front desk comprises of reception information and cashier these are the people whom the guest will approach as soon as he enters and these are the people who will escort the guest to their rooms and travel desk while you're going somewhere front office people will have these people will assist you in preparing your itineraries so what are the main duties of front office processing reservation request of guests of course as we started off this session with a question that a person who's going somewhere would require an accommodation and for that accommodation surety you need to reserve and front office comes handy then receiving the guest whenever you reach a hotel if you're not received you might get confused because you're new to that place so they, these people front office people are going to help you in your stay registration of the guest this is an important function of the front office as soon as you reach the hotel and announce your reservation somebody has to assist you to get a room and it cannot be done without registrations so front office people will register you as a guest and give you your room number and in fact the key room assignments these are the pre-preparation steps front office people or front office personnel are responsible for assigning room to each and every reserved guest guest luggage handling as we just described bell desk these people will never let you take your own load they will take your load cashier services we need to pay for each service as we saw in the definition of the uh, british law so who's going to assist you in that so the person who will stand at the front desk with the on the cashier desk is going to assist you in every manner Um, everyone can uh, refer to these references to read these things in detail before we finish the today's session next time we're going to discuss about the classification of hotels thank you and have a nice day